Aloha, it's Katie, and I finally have to face this video because a lot of you have been wanting to know what I've been doing this summer or how I stay productive in the summer. Keyword, productive. Now, I'm really flattered that you guys think of me like that, but my realistic day in the life, which you also wanted to see, looks a lot like me sitting at my desk reading webtoons. All my friends are out in New York City getting their jobs and internships. I'm out here reading comics. There's also my boba issue. And of course, afterwards, I feel really guilty. <laughs> After a good workout, of course, I feel like I deserve some bag of chips or cookies. I ate like two cakes, one boba, and two bag of chips and cheese. Elephant in the room. The elephant recently has been my face because I've been getting a lot of facial from all the sweets. But I am currently in Japan as I film this. I'm here celebrating my grandparents' birthday and I just want to change how I film things up a bit. Actually, to answer your questions, I checked my planner just to see if I've been doing anything productive and I was actually pleasantly surprised to find that I've, to, I've been doing a few things this summer. First thing is learning to drive. <laughs> <laughs> Every time! I'll try to be really smooth this time. You don't know how to drive? Before you judge me, I grew up in Manila. I just turned 18. That's the age when you can get your license. And did you know that Manila is the most densely populated city in the world? How fitting that the traffic comes by, you know, for that sound. Check Wikipedia. So reliable. To make things harder, I'm learning to drive manual transmission, not automatic with just your gas and brake. I have to factor in the clutch pedal and that changes everything. Second thing is I've been learning Tagalog. Even though I've been surrounded by Tagalog my whole life, I can understand it. I never had to learn how to speak it because thankfully most people in the Philippines know how to speak English. We are the third or fifth largest English speaking population in the world. So honestly, I took that for granted and I would just respond in English. But now I want to make the extra effort to actually learn this language because there's so many nuances and things that I feel like I can't express in English that I can in Tagalog. Third thing is traveling. Spending time with my family that I don't see 75% of the year. And you know you're typical. Over protective Asian parents who want every second with you. I was just in Turkey for three weeks. We were exploring ancient cities, learning about its history, trying extreme sports. Thank God my parents approved. Like white water rafting, paragliding, hot air ballooning. My grandparents are done with their shopping and I just came out here to finish this burp. All this time over the past month has allowed me to think more about my YouTube channel. And here is the tea. I I'm holding back my personality. In my videos, I'm really composed, I'm prepared. I speak like I could be some 40-year-old podcaster who talks about self-improvement and motivational things. I want my channel to still be what it is, but to better reflect who I am because I think it would just be better for the whole channel and for the Alohana. I've also been working on projects. There's this really exciting one, especially if you're an international student, about how to study abroad in the US like I am because we get a ton of questions all the time about the college application process. I know it's really different. There's a lot of concerns about financial aid and being able to afford college. So all of that is going to be bundled up in a really exciting collab with Education USA really soon. It's going to be really comprehensive guys. Eight videos so that you guys actually get the information you need to seriously start applying for college. That is going to be rolled out around late August to early September, so just stay tuned on my channel. Follow me on social media at LoiKDX because I will definitely be posting about it when it is time. The last thing is I am bringing my second channel back. I'm telling you all this right now about how I want to do more personal videos, but I know I can't just make the shift. Realistically speaking, a lot of you guys are subscribed to this channel because of my college content, school tips, YouTube 101. I understand that and I'm so grateful if you even subscribe to this channel. So I'm gonna stay true to that. But at the same time, I'm gonna be working on more me videos, hopefully, so I can see if this side of me is something that I wanna show on camera or that you guys can understand. My brother said I look like Cleopatra today. We'll see, but I would really, really appreciate your support on my second channel. Like, that would mean so much. Only if you really care, because if you don't care, that's cool. Like, 
stick to not caring, I'd rather you just be real about it. For those of you who are interested, I will see you on that channel and I will see you on this with a ton of uploads, two videos a week this summer, okay? From this video onwards, I hope that you notice some changes on my channel. I hope that I'll be more excited, more unfiltered, more weird, more, I don't know, I might be more controversial. Like, I'm ready to be who I am. Now, my question is for you. What are you going to do this summer? Continue your YouTube marathon, which is totally acceptable. Or get out of whatever comfortable position you are in right now and go and seize the day. Bye, guys. Love you so much. Thank you for sticking by me.